Welcome. Stay a while and let me tell you about what inspired me to write The Judge's Wife. This saga moves between Dublin, Ireland of the 50s and 1980s to the south of India, the coffee estate in the hills and the city of Bangalore. But it was a visit to the Taj Mahal in northern India which started me on the writing journey which became The Judge's Wife. As I sat there beside the Yamuna River in the white heat of the day, I thought of Vikram and Grace and the great love they had for each other. Please indulge me while I read you this one letter. August 31st, 1953. My dearest Grace, they say there is no greater place in the world to show the love of one man for a woman than the Taj Mahal. I want to bring you there to hold your hand and whisper my love for you in your ear. Please let me take you away. I can see the two of us in front of the great monument. I don't need to tell you how beautiful, how powerful the Taj Mahal is, but I can tell you how I feel, thinking of us standing in the shadow of such a dream in marble. I know our love is strong, and if wishes could be granted, I would wish to sit in the shadow of that great monument to hold your hand and just be. Stay strong, my love, and we will find a way to be together. All my love, Vikram. I still feel tears every time I read that letter. What a beautiful love Vikram and Grace had. What an awful price they paid for it. I hope you enjoy reading the novel. There's a lot here. There's hidden love, forbidden love, friendship, the love of a daughter, the enduring love of a mother. You know, there are a few laughs along the way as well. And there's also a very serious issue, the examination of the locking up of people in asylums in Ireland in the 1950s. After all, Grace was placed in an asylum. What was her sin? To fall in love with Vikram. Enjoy the read. And maybe at the end you will be able to answer the question. Can a love last forever?